I have to turn to the screen. Uh, everybody, I see a lot of regulars here along with others, but I, I just have to say everybody knows me. They just keep writing. They know I'll eventually <laughs> come and talk to them because they're trying to get to you. So uh, I had my turn first, everybody. So this is the way it goes. Normally I go last, but I took my, I took my turn first. Uh, that's they're going to turn on me. So Anne puts in, yes, that is so true. If you have done the healing work, why does it emerge later in life is what she's asking. Because they re-trigger it. Like okay. they, everything comes back. You mean the narc does? Per yeah. Sense. If they're okay, doing the same it. sort of things to you. Behavior toward you. Recording. If they're, putting, if they're playing the same recording. Okay, I get you. And, then, and you don't realize it's the same as the old stuff. So it, it just, unless it's, again, doing the work doesn't mean you're not going to experience the stuff again. Doesn't mean it's right. not going to come back in your face. It mm -hmm. means you're going to react differently when it comes yeah. back in your face. I recognize that. I see the pattern. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm game. sorry. I know you, I told you I tried to warn you. I got to do a timeout. <laughs> what did you just say? That was good. good. <laughs> I caught it. I don't even have to look over here. Anybody writing me during the show. Listen, did you just say we react differently? It's the, it could be the same recording, but we will react differently as we're older to it. Because it's, we could. it's different. It's different than it was when you were seven and your father said. Got it. Right. It. It's but yeah. it's so it doesn't seem it. like the same, but at the same yeah. time it's the same underlying I'm not good enough message, yeah. I I am unloved, all those messages that are hiding underneath it, even though we've healed the daddy wound in this example, versus it. it, there's still if I feel invalidated, that that wound is gonna come back. Got it. And so uh, hopefully that helps you some and and uh um we've gotta move to um uh, Jerry, please, uh, hopefully I got that right. JV Victor Flores, if not, I said it wrong. I got you mixed up with somebody from yesterday's show. But uh, J. Victor Flores says, I have already left that relationship and parenting. And it, in other words, and is parenting with the ex. It's hard. Now, uh, just a heads up to everybody. We are going to do another show tomorrow, which will focus on solely, fundamentally, two things. One, uh, divorce. Divorcing the Narcissist book that uh, Tracy has. We're going to get to that also in a minute. But uh, Victor, please keep this in mind. Jay Victor, please keep this in mind. We will be talking about parental alienation tomorrow. Uh, we'll be focusing on that. So feel free to come back for that show. But for your point that you're making right now, um, Tracy, he's saying he's finding it difficult, even though he's left the relationship, to parent with that same person, to mm -hmm. co-parent. Well, of course, especially if you have to co-parent um, it, it does make it difficult, right? And, um, you know, the question would be to say, what has he done to heal that wound? Um, and sometimes therapists, which can be the lifesaver of your life, sometimes therapists are doing what we talked about in the first five minutes, which was, yeah. let's just talk about that again, instead of, going, yo, you have an abandonment wound, <laughs> yeah, get right. this book, right. learn it, do it. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, there's things like trust, right? Trust is probably very big for people. How do I trust again? Well, we've got, got to it. figure out how, what's the criteria for that and, and how do we move on from there? And, and they may have to look at how they lost their trust to or who, who made it where they don't feel that they can trust people. So a per, that's what a therapist can kind of help them kind of dig up, right? Absolutely. And again, okay. when you're with a narcissist, they've done things that betray you, which is a betrayal of trust. Got it. So, so there are things that they've done and there are aspects that they put into play for their survival that could trigger you based upon the wounds you already have. But like you said, they kind of know your wounds. We they probably, know. you know, we probably went out and told them what they were in the first place yeah. and they're, they're storing them back there ready to use them to manipulate us is what you're saying. I have something on my website that I call green yeah. flags. Literally ah, throw okay. this up in the air. When we are having that conversation in the beginning, when we meet yeah. somebody, uh -huh. They are narcissistic. How? What kind of family do you have? Are you guys close? And you're answering, oh, they're all crazy, and I don't see them very much. Well, now uh, they know they can isolate you. Now they know wow. what you, you know, oh, what kind of things do they do? And they're just sitting there going, oh, all right, she won't recognize that, or I can do that. That's too. good. So, I got it. Okay, so we, we need to be, uh, for all my viewers and, and those who, who watch the show, please, Take this point to heart because many of you write me about just what we're talking about and you want to see shows about it. She, 
Tracy has just highlighted to you to be mindful of that. Carry your green flag, everybody. And if the, if anybody asks, tell them Tracy told you to. So <laughs> you need to be careful if they start to, well, in, in, a, in a very subtle way or even seductive way, try to, well, interrogate you, essentially what they're doing to find out where they can hurt you in the future or well, manipulate you. What your vulnerabilities are, right? Vulnerable, okay, vulnerable, right. So, and that's very important because, oops, hold on a second here. That's very important because before we know it, we're talking to somebody that's going to hurt us. Um, Ann Crosby has this. She says, if you have had abandonment issues and you have done the healing work and I was in a good place mentally when I met the narcissist, he knew the wounds, so use them in the, in the devalue stage. Is that, is that normal? Of course. That's their running plan? No, of course it is, because it's going to tap into that emotion. It's going to tap into that, and regardless of you doing the wound and healing, say, the parent abandonment or a previous mm -hmm. abandonment, all of a sudden, now on your dinner plate, you've got an abandonment potato, right? And you're sitting there going, wait, I already healed this. Well, now we have to look at it and not go, oh, my God, I'm going down the same rabbit hole. But look at okay. it and go, this is triggering me. Why? Why is this coming back? Oh, okay. Abandon me and look at it in that regard. Because the triggers that we have are emotional pulls on us. So all we have to do is like have that feeling of, of not being um, heard, not being safe. And the abandonment wound is, it's just like on your plate. It's there, you don't want it, uh -huh. but it's there, but you don't have to be afraid of it. If you are already, if you've done the work, just acknowledge, oh, that's what that is. And it's not okay. that we have to go, oh no, I'm going down it again. Right, oh, right, wait right, a second. Right. And this triggers, when that happens, I get triggered and I get, sad or i get this i get fearful what is it understand all the elements about it we don't have to run out of the theater screaming when we see it or out of the out of off the rather run away from the dinner table we can kind of be emotionally stable even just recognize what it is is what you're saying mm -hmm. we don't have to think oh you know what i did all that work it was for nothing i'm still in the same place because if we recognize it we're probably not in the same place anymore because well, we're Right. We wouldn't have Overall. recognized it earlier, right? So right. Yeah, you're okay. in a better right. place. But it's also the fear that everybody says is like, oh, my God, I, I just went all the way down again. Well, no, it's a dip in the roller coaster. It's, it's not going down, having to go under the covers and hide again. It's not all that unless we put it in our mind that it's that uh. and go, ah, it's happening again. And then you pull the covers uh. over. But if you sit there and look at it and go, this is why this hurts so much. It's so familiar, and Got this it. is how I react when that happens. Even if the, the narcissistic person or ex is doing it on purpose, we can still not give them all the power by saying they have control over us. I just see what it is, and they're attacking this particular wound. I like, I like would, you, would you say, would you call it an abandonment potato? You need to you need to hashtag that. I'm serious. You need to put that stuff. You need to. I got the whole green flag thing. That's really cool. But you need to hashtag. Tell your marketing department. Tell you know, the marketing hashtag. Department. Okay. Okay. So, it, well, you, you didn't have to tell us that, but now, okay. But so, tell. Go have a meeting with yourself. Hashtag abandonment potato. And and everybody that watches my shows knows this. But listen, that needs to be a 19. The hearts are already going. They know what I'm going to say next. You need to have a 1999 T-shirt. I will buy. I guarantee you, my daughters will. Both of them will buy it. You, you got. I, we three will buy the shirt, and I'll be wearing it on the show, and everybody will go like. <laughs>